The REST operator is another new addition to the operators in JavaScript language. It was introduced in ES6 version of JavaScript. So in this lecture, we are going to learn about what is a REST pattern and REST parameter. The REST pattern or the REST operator collects the rest of the values into an array or rest of the properties into an object. Now I will explain this statement with some practical examples in a bit. But remember that the rest operator looks exactly like the spread operator. That is, it has the same syntax with three dots, but it does opposite of what spread operator do. So let's understand the use of rest operator. And to understand rest operators, let's first revisit what a spread operator does. So let's say we have an array with three elements. Let's say first element is 10, second element is 20, and third element is 30. And let's log this array in the developer console. So console.log arr. When I save the changes, it has logged the array. Now, when we use a spread operator on an array, it expands the elements of that array into individual elements, right? And how do we denote a rest operator? I mean, the spread operator by using three dots like this. So when we use three dots like this on this array, the elements of this array will be expanded and it will be, you know, expanded into individual elements. So if I save the changes, you will notice that now these values are no more present inside an array. These are now the individual values. And this is what spread operator does. It expands the elements of an array or any other iterable into individual elements. Now, in this section, we also talked about destructuring of arrays. So, let's say we have an array called numbers and this array has five elements. Let's say 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30. Now, if we want to destructure this array, we, we need to use this let or const keyword followed by square brackets and then we specify the name of the variable. So let's say the first variable is A, second variable is B and third variable is others. Okay. And since we want to destructure this numbers array, we need to assign it to this destructuring syntax. Now here what will happen? This 10 will be assigned to this variable A, this 15 will be assigned to this variable B and this 20 will be assigned to this variable others. Right. So let's see that by logging it in the developer console. So let's log A, B and others. If I save the changes, you can see 10, 15 and 20 has been logged. Now let's say what we want is we want to assign this value 10 to this variable A. And that's what is happening here. We want to assign this value 15 to this variable B. And that's what is happening here. And then we want to assign the rest of these elements of this numbers array to this others variable. Okay, so currently what is happening only 20 has been assigned to this others variable. But what is our requirement? Our requirement is that rest all the values from this array, rest all the elements from this array should get assigned to this others variable. So we want to assign a new array to this others variable which will contain all the rest of the elements of this numbers array. And this we can achieve by using rest operator or rest pattern. Okay. And in order to use the rest operator, again, just like spread operator, we use three dots like this. And now what will happen is this 10 will be assigned to this variable A this 15 will be assigned to this variable B and rest other elements will be assigned to this others variable inside an array. And to prove this, let's save the changes. And now you can see 10, 15 and an array with rest of the elements of this numbers array has been logged. Okay, so this is the use of rest pattern. The rest pattern or the rest operator collects rest of the values into an array or rest of the properties of an object into an object.
so here we have used rest pattern on an array but we can also use the rest pattern on an object so let's go ahead and let's create an object called num and this object let's say is going to have five properties so let's say first property is x with the value 10 second property is y with the value let's say 12 third property is z with the value let's say 13 then another property is u with the value let's say 17 okay so here we have an object with four properties and now we want to destructure this object so to destructure an object we use curly brackets like this and inside this we need to specify the variable names and if you remember when we destructure an object the variable name must match the property name so here the first variable is x second variable is y and third variable let's say is obj okay and we want to destructure this num object now let's go ahead and log x y and obj so x y and obj now currently what will happen since we are destructuring an object this we have a variable called x so if this num variable i mean this num object has a property called x then its value will be assigned to this x variable then we have another variable y and this num object has a property called y so the value of this property y will be assigned to this variable y then we have another variable obj but this num object does not have any property with the name obj so this obj will be assigned with the value undefined if i save the changes this is what you will see in the console but now what our requirement is we want to assign the value of property x to this variable x we want to assign the value of property y to this variable y and then rest all other properties we want to assign to this obj variable as an object okay and to do that again on this we can use rest operator like this now if i save the changes notice what will be the result here so let me save the changes and now you can see when we are logging x 10 is logged when we are logging y 12 is logged and when we are logging obj an object with the rest of the properties of this num object has been logged okay so when we are using a rest pattern on the object okay in that case what is happening is the rest of the properties of that object is getting assigned to this obj variable inside an object as you can see here okay now you might ask me when the spread operator and rest operator looks exactly same then how do we come to know that when the rest operator is being used and when the spread operator is being used to differentiate that always remember that rest operator will always be used before the assignment operator okay so here you see when we are using this rest operator here we are using these three dots before the assignment operator and when we are using these three dots before assignment operator that means this operator is rest operator and same is the case here as well so here also this three dots has been used before the assignment operator so this is also a rest operator but here we are not using these three dots before any assignment operator so here this is a spread operator so this is what rest pattern or rest operator is now let's understand what is rest parameter and to understand rest parameter let's go ahead and create a function called add numbers and let's say this function is expecting two parameters num1 and num2 and all this function will do is it will return the sum of num1 and num2 okay let's call this add numbers function and let's pass 20 and 30 okay let's store the return result into a variable or let's go ahead and simply log the return result directly
okay if i save the changes it should log 50 and it has logged it so it is working as expected now if i call this add numbers function again but this time i call it with three arguments like 20 30 and 40 it is still going to work but it will only add the first two arguments it will not add this 40 why because 20 will be assigned to this num1 30 will be assigned to this num2 but there is no parameter to which this 40 will be assigned so from the function we are returning the sum of num1 and num2 so num the sum of num1 and num2 will be 50 and that will be returned right so if i save the changes it will again return 50 if i go ahead and call this function again with four parameters the result is again going to be same so if i pass a fourth argument if i save the changes it is still returning 50 but what we want this add numbers function to do is we want this add number function to add any number of arguments which has been passed to this function so currently it is only capable of adding two numbers but what we want is when we are passing three numbers as its argument it should be able to add all those three numbers when we are adding four numbers then in that case it should be able to add all those four numbers okay and how can we achieve that for that again we can use rest operator here so here instead of saying num1 and num2 let's pass only one parameter to this and let's call it num now here what will happen for the first call this 20 will be assigned to this num variable for the second call also this 20 will be assigned to this num variable but what we want is to this num variable we want to assign all the arguments which we have passed for this function so for that let's use the rest operator on this num now what will happen this 20 and 30 will be assigned to this num variable inside an array and to prove this let's go ahead and let's log this num variable from this function so console.log num let's see what this num contains so if i save the changes you can see when we are calling this add numbers for the first time it contains an array with these two elements when we are calling it second time it contains an array with these three elements okay and when we are calling third time it contains these four elements inside this array and here you see undefined that's because this add numbers function is not returning any value explicitly so by default it returns undefined and we are logging it using this console.log statement okay so in all the three cases this add number function is currently returning undefined and that has been logged here okay so this num is now containing an array with the arguments which we have passed to this add numbers function and now we can write a logic to add all those arguments so for that let's go ahead and create a sum variable and initially let's set it to zero then let's use a for loop and let's say let i equals zero i should be less than the length of this num array so num dot length i plus plus and then here let's say sum equals sum plus num of i okay and in short we can also write it like sum plus equals num of i okay and finally once the iteration is complete we want to return the value which we have inside this sum variable so for the first iteration i mean when the first time we are calling this add add numbers function we are passing 20 and 30 so this num variable will contain an array with this value 20 and 30 so for the first iteration the value of i will be 0 okay so the condition will and this num dot length will be 2 because the length is 2 here we have two elements so for the first iteration the sum will be 0 plus num of i and that means num of 0 so at 0th index we have this value 20 so the new value of this sum variable is 20 then for the second iteration the value of i will be 1 so sum plus equals num of i that means num of 1 will be 20 plus 30 that means 50 then in the next iteration the condition will fail the loop will stop and 
the value which we have inside this sum variable that will be returned. So here in this case, 50 will be returned for the first call. For the second call, it will iterate for three times and it will add all these three numbers and it will return the result. And same is true for the last call. So let's save the changes and let's see what we get. So here you can see for the first call, it has added these two numbers. For the second call, it has added these three numbers and the result is 90. And for the third call, it has added these four numbers and the result is 140. So this is what is called as rest parameter. A rest parameter can store n number of elements inside an array. Okay. Now, can we have other arguments for this add numbers function? Of course we can. So we can also pass two more arguments like num1 and num2 like this. But always remember that rest parameter should always be the last one. Okay. You can have, you know, uh, parameters before this rest parameter but this rest parameter should always be the last in the parameter list so now we need to modify this function definition so here the initial value of sum will be now num1 plus num2 and then if we are passing more than two parameters to this add numbers function then those parameters will be assigned to this you know num Par num parameter. If we are passing more than two arguments, then those arguments will be assigned to this num parameter. And this should still work. So if I save the changes, we still have the same result. So this is all about rest pattern and rest parameter. Now always remember that rest pattern and spread operator looks alike, but they are completely different. They are opposite of each other. Now, how can you identify whether the operator is rest operator or spread operator well when these three dots are used before the assignment operator in that case it is a rest operator otherwise it is a spread operator so this is all from this lecture